Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for all signs, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we have memberships on a channel. So you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks. Now, two cards for the collective. We have number 29, She Rests to Create, and number 37, Second Chances Bring Success. So what this card talks about is something that may have failed before. That's having a second chance now, and it actually could be successful. So this can be in terms of people, work, places. There's something that didn't work out before, but now there's a second chance, and it could be successful. Now with this card, it talks about you resting, but while you're resting, you're still creating, you're still manifesting. Alright? So let's do Aries. So what advice does Aries need to know as of right now? We have number 28, Sisters of the Sun Rising. So let's have a look at that card, Aries. You're a highly creative being with the potential to help raise the vibration of consciousness on this planet. Through your creative work, uh, projects, work, dreams, and hobbies, the power of collaboration, choosing to work with others in joint projects allows for synergy to occur, where you can grow stronger and become more than the sum of your individual parts, calling in great cosmic assistance and potency. You are guided to remain open to other souls joining forces with you, just like the Sisters of the Sun Rising that can bring great energy to help humanity through their group endeavors. When you allow for aligned group effort, much that is wonderful that can occur. So Aries, this is telling you to be open to collaborations, to working with other people through projects, work, or just be open to other people in general. But this resonates more particularly with collaborations, right? Projects. So let's move on to the sign of Taurus. So what advice does Taurus need to know as of right now? We have number 29 with the sound, the fierce flute. Discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your spiritual intentions. Like a fierce-sounding flute cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent, your discernment allows you to stay true to your values and spiritual destiny without getting caught up in distraction. If you wish to grow spiritually through love, joy, peace, and abundance, then discerning between higher and lower vibrational choices is helpful. So Taurus, really, the advice for you, use your own intuition, your own discernment, on the right choices, you're gonna know what's best, what feels best, kind of like think about it before you just do something from the right choices and the wrong choices. Let's move on to the sign of Gemini. So what advice does Gemini need to know as of right now? You have number nine with eight immortals. Cards reflecting, so you can't really see it that well. <laughs> Messages that you've been receiving that are unconditionally loving, fearless, and encouraging of you to grow and be your true self are from your higher guidance. The eight immortals and other beings of divine light and divine love are guiding you. It is safe to follow these messages now. Doing so will bring you greater joy. So, Gemini, you actually are receiving messages from your higher self, from spirit, and it's it's okay for you to listen to those messages. These are intuitive messages, like I said, from higher spirits, from yourself. There are actual real messages. Let's move on to the sign of Cancer. So what advice does Cancer need to know as of right now? We have number 20 with Nectar of the Lotus.
cards are sliding all over the place. The Divine Mother wishes that those who are meant to feed others be fed well too. Your devotion to helping others has the effect of squeezing the cosmic heart chakra of the Divine Mother. From her heart drips nectar, sweet sustaining life affirming energy that feeds you and allows you to nourish many souls. Like a sacred chalice that overflows, when you are full, well, and vital, the feeding of others happens effortlessly. You are guided to be fed now, fed with divine nectar from the heart of the mother. So, Cancer, your message for you is to still be open towards helping others, to giving to others, to still be generous, because you are going to be taken care of by spirit when you're doing this. Don't have a worry about, do you have enough? Should you do that, be generous. So, let's move on to the sign of Leo. What messages does Leo need to know? Go number 16 with Maiden Magoo. Goddess of Spring, Healing and Transformation brings you assistance now. You're asked to honor that light can come from even the darkest beginnings, beloved one. In fact, sometimes we need to enter into the unknown parts of ourselves to find exactly what we need to grow in peace, creative self-fulfillment, and happiness. The challenge can be to trust that we will arise from this darker place again, just as the spring always follows the winter, beloved. So too will any inner work with the perceived shadow a beautiful rebirth for you. So, Leo. This is like working on some parts of yourself so that it, it helps you grow, it helps you birth a new part of you. Some of you already done this, others of you need to do this. Okay. Oops. I'm dropping things. So let's move on to the sign of Virgo. What messages do you have for Virgo? Number 13, here the yellow tiger mother. Sometimes we must be strong and hold true while all around us seems to be shifting and changing. The yellow tiger mother Kuan Yin in her guardian role is roaring her divine sound within you. She asks you to hear her, to remember that you are a powerful being of light, and even whilst you are in flow with universal forces, your strong roots help you be at peace with your truth, standing your ground whilst your light shines true. So, yeah. This is telling you to be strong, remember how powerful you are, because you are going to be standing your ground even while things are like quite crazy in your life. So just be strong, Virgo, no matter what's going on. So you have spirit helping you with that, like spirit has your back. So let's move on to the sign of Libra. What advice does Libra need? Libra, you got blessings. That's your <laughs> that's your advice. We have number two with blessings of the Moon Maiden. The Moon Maiden, with her lucky hair, brings auspicious tidings of prosperity and abundance to you now. The universe seeks to re to replenish, restore, and create through you. Allow yourself to receive beyond what you have thought is possible by opening your heart with gratitude now. Let the blessings of good fortune from the beloved Maiden of the Moon, Kuan Yin, flow easily into your life now. So, Libra, the only thing that's really needed for you is just to be open to the big abundance coming your way. You have a lot of blessings coming in your life. See your life getting better and improving. Not really a whole lot of advice, just be open for it and be kind of ready for it. <laughs> okay. So let's do Scorpio. So what advice does Scorpio need to know? What 
We have number 42, Turquoise Lotus Mother. Turquoise Lotus Mother brings you precious healing to you now. Allow yourself to be lifted out of your struggle, beloved one. An old pattern is finally in its death throes, something that weighed heavily on you from your past. This can be one of the most testing times to allow something to go. Just when it seems to be so demanding of your time, focus and attention, yet yeah, do not doubt. You have actually learned the lessons it required of you, and you now are being blessed with an opportunity to receive karmic healing. So, Scorpio, you know, I see you releasing something. The only advice is just to allow yourself to receive healing after that. Like, you've learned the lessons from it, and now just be open to healing from whatever has ended in your life. So let's move on to the sign of Sagittarius. So what advice do you have for Sagittarius? We have number four, Call of the Dancing Crane. Dancing Crane moves through waters and muddy marsh with elegance and grace. The main and call and dance of the crane is full of beautiful, beautiful movement and flow. There are times when the astral waters of our emotional life become stagnant and will benefit from the healing movement, grace, and beauty of the dancing crane. The call of the dancing crane is a reminder that sound can be healing too. This is particularly so when your thoughts, beliefs, and emotional patterns do not support you in living the spiritual destiny you were born to live. So this is like you, you know, you being able to move and not feel stuck. Sagittarius. Like, if your life has been stagnant in some way, I see you moving, I see you outgrowing a lot of things that you, you felt like were right for you at the time. So a lot of progression, a lot of change forward movement is coming for you, Sagittarius. Kind of be ready for that. A lot of healing as well. So let's move on to the sign of Capricorn. So what advice does Capricorn need to know as of right now? We have number 44, Weave the Future Golden. Something good is coming your way. Kuan Yin urges you to weave your future into the present moment, to call in and draw to you the opportunities, teachings, circumstances, and synchronicities waiting for you. That will enable your soul to live its divine destiny with greater abundance, bliss, and creative fulfillment. So Capricorn, this is telling you to be in the present, in the now, because you got good things coming your way. You got opportunities, abundance. So focus in the present moment, Capricorn. So let's move on to the sign of Aquarius. Then we'll do Pisces and that'll be the last sign. So, what advice does Aquarius need to know as of right now? We have number seven, drink from the Emerald Fountain. The Divine Feminine is encouraging of the awakening and empowerment of all living beings. When a sincere seeker is trying to find a way through, there is much help sent. It makes sense to be open to receive it, indeed to step forward and drink from the Emerald Fountain, which is the unconditionally loving heart chakra of Kuan Yin. Allow yourself to be nourished by the power and love of the Divine Mother flowing to you now. So this Aquarius, the only thing that you really need to know is just be open to spirits trying to help you, trying to nourish you trying to guide you. Okay. So let's do Pisces. So what advice does Pisces need to know? We have number 41 to the Celestial Mountain. The 
There are times when the divine energy is needed to help us achieve our spiritual goals. When you do not feel completely in control of your destiny, the divine is usually gifting you with an opportunity to reach for assistance and to invoke divine power. To call it to the celestial mountain so that you may be gifted with a far superior outcome. Your permission to beings that love you unconditionally and to offer you help is an expression of spiritual empowerment. You empower those forces to come to your aid and help you manifest your life purpose and destiny. So you, Pisces, advice for you is to help, is for you to let the, it's almost like the Aquarius one, to let the divine help you to be open to that. They do want to help you, but you need to like be open to that or be open to asking. Otherwise, how can you really receive the help? So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.